Welcome to the My Mandala instructional video. In this video, we're going to teach you everything that you need to know to custom paint your own yoga mat. So in your kit, when you receive it, you will have your yoga mat, you will have eight paint pots, you'll have your stencil tape, multiple paint brushes, your painting palette, and of course the stencils that you have chosen for yourself for your custom painted mat. It takes very little paint to customize your mat. Use a light touch and dab on the paint with the brushes included. Use your painting palette included to mix paint colors to get custom hues. Have a damp cloth available. If you make a mistake, simply wipe away your artwork. If you want to wipe anything off, the sooner the better. Don't let your paint dry because then you will not be able to remove it. Make sure to dry your mat before repainting. Shake up your paint pots prior to use as the paint may have settled. So, I'm going to bring in some of my friends, we're going to paint some mats and we're going to have some fun. Uh, just remember, these friends of mine have never painted mats before, so you're going to see just how easy it is. I suggest put on some music, hang out, paint your mats and have a great time. And enjoy your mat. Thank you. You've set up your paint palettes and now you've got your stencils. So figure out where you want your stencils. So move them around your mat a little bit. Um, just see where, how you'd like to set them up. Lay it out. Lay it out. So do it a couple of, you know, move them a couple of times around different places and be like, yeah, that's where I want it. <laughs> okay, so next thing you're going to do is you're going to tape your stencils down. So you want to make sure that you tape them kind of tight. Tape it the whole length, not just the corners. So tape the whole length. So run it the whole length of the, the stencil. So it's really secure. That way you know it's not going anywhere. And it will tend to pop up a little bit sometimes when you go to paint it. So you can put a little pressure on it when you paint it. You see how it kind of pops up a little bit? But that's okay, just when you paint it, you're just gonna put a little pressure on it with your finger, like, you know? Okay, so now you're gonna pick whatever color you want and just start painting. Okay. So when you paint it, just kind of put a finger on it okay. and do your little dab. And you can always angle your brush too. So like if it's popped up this way, Angle your brush that way. Okay. You know what I mean? So it keeps it so away it doesn't from... slide underneath. Right. Gotcha. Exactly. Because okay. that yeah. gives you cleaner lines, right? Okay. Remember that just a little bit of paint. Okay. Very little paint. Little dabble do ya. Little dabble do ya. Each stencil takes two coats of paint. So paint one, move on to the next one, and so on until all your stencils are painted. Then go back to the first one and do your second coat. The dry time between coats is approximately 20 minutes. Remove the tape and stencil immediately after the second coat or your detail work. If the paint dries too long, it may stick to the stencil and come off when you remove the stencil. If this happens and you are not happy with your result, simply use your wet cloth to wipe the paint off, then wipe your mat with a dry cloth and start again. Put your fingers like on the, on the stencil itself when you pull the tape off. And just ball your tape up, that's what I usually do. Just. I'm super excited. So go ahead and lift that one off of there because you're, you've got it, the tape off, so just lift straight up. That looks awesome. Wow. Very cool. That is very cool. Oh, oh wow. that looks really pretty. Very nice. Very nice. That's cool. so cool. Ooh, that's really pretty. You're very talented. Wow. Very talented. Did you know? Did you know you were so talented? <laughs> Not quite like this. I mean, I'm creative, but I didn't really expect it to look anything like this. This is very cool. I had no idea that it looked that that awesome. And you know what's so great? It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. No. No, it's not. It's just 
you know. All right, dun dun dun, drum roll please. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> very patriotic, but you see how like, that one little spot right there, but it's still very cool. Right. But you know what? You can go in and hit. Cool you can go in and touch that up, though. Yeah. If you want to, but you don't have to because you can just say, you know what? That's just. That's just me. That's me. Yeah. It's just. That's so cool. Wow. These are really cool. And they're totally waterproof. They're waterproof, sweatproof. Um, what I love about this is that it's very easy to use. Um, just kind of ran with it and put down colors and at first I wasn't sure that it was going to turn out to look like anything great and these are pretty cool. <laughs> I think they're amazing and I'm excited to use the rest of the stencils and just decorate my mat. It's super easy to use, it's a lot of fun and it makes me look like a really great artiste. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It was a lot of fun to do. It was a great way to express myself creatively and this is my mandala. Okay, obviously I can never be an actor. <laughs> this was so much fun. I had so much fun painting this and I can't wait to go home and paint the rest of my mat. Please remember, it is very important to let your paint dry on your mat for a full 48 hours. Thanks for watching our video and we hope you have as much fun painting our mats as we do. If you would like to purchase extra stencils for your mat, please visit our website mandalamethod.com and look for our stencil page.